Alrighty, hi everyone, I am Blaze here. You can see. Thank you so much, Cypher and Ixar Legion. It's nice. <laughs> uh, this one's going to be an episode looking at uh, Timur Steep, which is actually one of the coolest zones, I think, in the game. So it's a connecting zone between the old world and Fadewar and, uh, and Tanaka to Kunark. So the ways you get to it are via Butcher Block or North Row. There's a boat dock in North Row. And um, it can take you to Feronia Vi for the good side and or Feriona V or whatever it said. And it takes you to the over there for the dark side. The over there you got to be a little careful of because on the Vendral Sathir faction you can become KOS to um, if you kill in Karnor's castle or you kill in some other places you can come KOS this is pretty cool looking so this is uh, some ruins I don't see it, there's no mobs though or anything yeah just some ruins sitting here Boat. Okay, let's run up. I'll show this one thing before I go. This is not like it is on P99. These mobs are lower. It's this boat section over here where there's a bunch of Gunthak pirates or something. They're they're pretty high level actually. There might be pirates on P99, but they're not this high level. So this is actually probably a good area to solo, to be honest, if you wanted to. You're looking for another spot to find EXP um, in your higher levels. They are level 48, yeah. They're still light blue to level 60. So these are definitely doable. I'll probably root rot them. I might, you know what, I should probably check this out on Kidornian to be honest. The decent number of them. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to here. Ah, I'm not a big fan of the new models. That's, I swap back to the old ones. The boats are way faster on live, but you don't even need to use them because the translocators. That's the boat from uh, over there. And one of the things I'd strongly recommend to get is one of these worker sledge mallets. It's a procable swing. Um, I mean, you can proc it to teleport you to the over there. So it's actually a really quick port to get to Kunark. And the advantage is it'll pro um, you use a translocator and you'll pop out right here at this uh, this island and you can run all the way down south to the fire pots and pretty much be anywhere in the game and most of the major starting cities so that's actually how I get to the AOC in Everfrost for uh, Vox every week I don't take a port I just actually run Aeonic down there to the fire pots and click to Halas that's actually how I get to there faster alright so this is the Ogre Island and there's something called the Great Oowomp, which spawns here, I think on the side of one of the houses. You have to be careful of these ogres, because I think they trash your Venral Sathir faction for over there. But this is the translocator to go to um, South Row or over there. And the boat typically arrives. That's the raft from the uh, north row you wanted to take that let me check the, the great oowomp what do you drop great oowomp drops three strength helm it's a nice mask chip bone 
That's okay. Uh, no, the, the minus four dex. No, that's okay. That's good for ca uh, wisdom casters. That's okay. That's really good for a caster. That's also good for uh, most casters. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the next portion. On the back side of the island is a bunch of spy rocks. But let me see, what level are these ogres? You can kill these ogres in your teens, I believe. Yeah. Low 20s, upper teens. That's probably ideally what you want to do. And then let's look around on the back side. These are where the spy rocks are supposed to be. And they are... Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, about 40, level 40. So, yeah, you could probably do this to the late 30s to the 40s as a camp. Remember, uh, some bards used to AoE swarm kite these, or... Uh, True, it's also used to do this because this this zone is so wide open. I mean, it's really easy. Just look how incredibly wide open. A lot of easy run space. Don't have to worry about ads. Now, this is something that's not in P99. I want to check out these fallen deck hands. Well, I've never really been over this island. Yeah, let's check it out. Level 20. Okay. So these are some upper level... Oh, there's plenty too. Yeah. So this is probably another spot you could do. From your uh, upper teens to lower 20s if you wanted to. So we got mobs from the 20s upper teens the 20s here and uh 35 to probably 45 right around here now let's check over and also from the 50s to be honest you could also do the 50s of those uh oh right raiders right there okay well, let's check what this island is yeah, I've never really explored this degree. Fallen Ixars. These are lower. Teens. Okay, so you could probably come here from 10 to... Yeah. 10 to perhaps... 18? Kill those fallen Ixars if you have a little too much competition. And here's some more Gunthax Swabbies. Pretty cool, that statue. Yeah, so these Gunthax are probably also another spot where you don't have to kill on those boats. You could kill out here. My problem is it looks a little bit more congested. Fifty-seven, yeah. These guys, you can do them fifty onto. This is definitely that was not in P ninety nine. There were some pirates though that were right here on P ninety nine, if I remember correctly. So yeah, you could definitely do that as an alternative solo from oh from forty five up to probably sixty here. Wouldn't necessarily be efficient, but it's an option. Alright, so the next island we're running to is down to the... Uh, so up here, this is the island you'd use to go to the over there. And down here is the island you use to go to uh, Feroni of Eye. And honestly, or Furiona V, or whatever you say, I say Feroni of I, that's 
That's how I've always said it, even though I may be wrong. Um, the fastest way to actually get between over there in Fur Furiona V is actually through Timmer Steep. It's to run it. It's not to actually take the land route of where you go from the over there to Skyfire to Burning Woods to Dreadlands, then to Furiona V. It's actually longer. So that's something to, um, to keep in mind. Uh, it's longer on uh, live because the translocators make it quick. But on P99, it's actually faster just to run it, the overland route, to be honest. That's what I would do. So yeah, P99, run the overland route. Don't get, run through Timur Steep, but on live, run through Timur Steep because the translocators make it fast. We got some fallen deck hands on the side of here. And they are in their low twenties, so yep. You want to come here again, from maybe your upper teens, eighteen to maybe twenty-four, twenty-five. It's like a good spot, no competition whatsoever, and you'd have merchants right here. A quick port to butcher block. If those deckhands are still following me, that this ranger is going to get owned. Mm. Let there be more guards. But yeah, that's the translocator to Butcher Block and to of I right there. Okay, now. Let's run across. Let's run down here. And then we'll loop around. It's a long run. <laughs> There's an eagle statue down here? Mind you, this is one of the biggest zones in the game, alongside of Ocean of Tears and, uh... And what's that one? It's for, uh, Velius. It's, um... I think. Ice-clad ocean. This one's pretty cool. It's a, uh, frozen island, strangely enough. Out in the middle of this area. It's kind of unexpected. These are upper 20s. Okay, so yeah. Definitely you can come here from maybe 25 up to maybe 32, 33, perhaps. This, yeah, Ocean of Tears and uh, Timorous Deep have some really isolated leveling areas where you'd have zero competition. Um, the only thing I can think of though is that um, it's just a pain to get to. They're just out here in the middle of nowhere. Now this is one I, I think to be the coolest area in EverQuest that I've seen. One of the coolest. So I'll show it. This is actually where you do the Cleric Epic. Or at least the last turn in. See, can I run up on the side so I don't have to actually run through it? Or No, I can't. Okay. So you have to go underwater. The first one looks like nothing, you know? It just looks like a big wall. Got to go underwater and go through this tunnel. It's first side.
then again you come out and you're like okay well what that's cool you know what's what's around here there's more that's just a harbinger of what's to come the water's definitely changed get a different graphic Now, here's the second one, the second tunnel. Oh, this is so cool looking. This is so cool. <laughs> this is my favorite area in the game. Just beautiful, beautiful. I love what the, the devs made this. And there's like this water elemental that comes out when you do the cleric epic. Just absolutely beautiful. Let me run up high. Okay, so that they do have boundaries, so you can't run outside of it. Yeah, that is just absolutely beautiful. And there's a bar in here. Couple erudites just chilling. Go say hi. <laughs> Don't go telling everybody about it. Is he for the cleric epic? I don't know. Um, so he's like some high priest. That's the bartender. People's soul here? That's weird. Alright, let's buy a little... My little ale. <laughs> Alcohol tolerance up one. All right, there we go. <laughs> Drinking in one of the coolest spots in the game. <laughs> All right, now let's run out. That's why I love this zone. Just this little area is so cool. Absolutely so cool. So I'm going to run to those. Okay. Just two more islands to check out, and uh, that will be essentially it for the video. Sorry, it's a length of this. It's a big zone. It is a big zone. There's a lot of running to do. Let's go to the next illusion. There we go. <laughs> I love how they run. It's the tiniest leg, so they have to go super, super fast. Avatar of Water. Yeah, it just popped. Let's 
sea wind. <laughs> I think he got his epic. This is another good spot to kill. Uh, Raptor Island. There's two of them. The only thing you have to be careful of is these things run super fast, they can swim fast, and um, they have very large aggro radiuses, but yeah, uh, they're good for probably late 30s. Probably like 39 up to. 50 to be honest. Yeah, you could probably do them up to 50, 51. Yep. All the raptors down there, yep. And now let's go to the next island, the last one. Called Chessboard Island. This is where we fight Faded R. Where most people do. Our master is on one of the, the top of a hill, but this is the chessboard. It's kind of cool. And if you keep going, looking around, interesting stuff. This is also the sucker point to the zone. It's actually nice to be a necro. I can just instantly sucker down here and I'm closer to the fire pots if I don't. That's the XR master. Don't want to run it, but anyways I'm gonna show the very last portion of the zone. And that's the fire pots. So I've already mentioned them multiple times before, but they are so incredibly useful. Just for getting around quick. I actually have Kidorian bound there at them. Makes it tremendously. It makes it so that Kidorian can actually get around faster than Eonic despite the bard speed. I have the best speed in the game. I have the fastest, uh, the, the biggest percussion modifier, so my C low speed is the fastest you can go, but still, um, Kidorian can get around arguably faster than Aeonic can in some regards. Now when you're talking about running from point to point in the zone, like say Trachanon C to the Sebelis, yeah, Aeon has got him beat, but talking about you know getting anywhere in Antonica or Fadewer instantly, Aeon uh Kidorian's got it. So one thing you do have to be careful of, if you bind there the fire pots it, it, before they nerf it, they nerf it eventually so you can't nobody can bind in the zone. Closest you could bind would be uh, Butcher Block or Feronia Vi. At least that's for me. So it might be quicker just for me to duel someone and die, but you have to be careful. Faded R runs around this area, which is a level 60 raid mob that hits really, really hard. I uh, once got hit, barely got survived before I got a feign death off, so you've got to be ready to click a, a pot quick. So this is it the fire pots and what it is is there's a bunch of ports to all which different uh, starting cities so Akanon, Rivervale so this is the closest to high keep in the game Gukta is Grob right now Ogok this is like very close to Guk and I think this is close to Ray Mountains Erudin so that's the closest to the hole you can get Um, Niryak, closest to Nagafin, and uh, the Solozex. Fadark, 
and fell with, which is stupid, you know, they should have split it up. They should have put Kanos here instead. Or, um, I don't know, but whatever. Uh, Great Fate arc, uh, not much there. Palace, so this is the closest to Permafrost for Nagi. Report, of course. Cabalus, um, right in the middle of the world. And Kaladim. So, yeah, and they, they say stuff. So, Freeport right there, that's the logo for it. That's obviously the Ixar Legion thing. Akanon. Not sure. Not sure. That's definitely Dark Elf. Elethin. Halas. So, I'm going to go to Halas. But, alrighty. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.